Alright guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this kind of grass-ish look. Alright, let's get started. So what we're first going to do, so I'm just going to delete all of this. And delete these. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a cube. So go to the primitives tab, click and hold, and go to cube. Alright. Now we're going to have to resize this cube. So on the Y size, change it to around 30 centimeters. And then on the X and the Z, we're going to change it to 600. All right. Now we have this big square. But we're going to have to add some segments. So on the X, Y, and Z, change it to 80 so 80 80 and 80 so now we've got all these little squares so next thing that you're going to want to do is make it editable so over here there's this little sphere turning into a world click that and now the object is editable now we're going to go over here in our tools and we're going to click the polygon tool. Now everything turns blue. So now what we're going to want to do is you're going to go over here to the live selection tools and pick the square one. Make sure only visible elements are selected. Now you're going to click this little square over here up in the corner to bring up all the four views and you're going to go to the top view and you're going to drag the square around your whole cube you're going to let go and it's going to select all the top polygons for you okay let's go back into our perspective view by clicking the little square again and now you can see they're selected by them only the top is yellow everything else is just blue all right now what we want to do is we're going to go under simulation hair objects and fur and now we're gonna see all these little things now they're all brown and it's because it's a fur so now we're gonna have to change so there's more and change the color and everything so if we click on the fur object up here it says count we're gonna change that count to a hundred thousand and now you can see that there's a lot more and length I'm going to change mine to 15 mm, randomize about 15 degrees and variation about 5 centimeters all right now we'll do a quick render it's going to take a while because a lot of little things all right now it's all brown and it looks too much like fur still, so we're going to come into the fur material and double click on it. Alright, and now under the color tab, you can see it goes from dark brown to light brown, and we're going to change that. So double click on this little dark brown, and go to a dark greenish color, and then do the same with the light brown change it to a light greenish color so now our gradient goes from dark to light also what you might want to do is come to the thickness and change it from 1 to 1 1.5 and I think that should be good so we'll do another quick render there we go looking more like grass so now what I'm going to do is down here, it's still gray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the whole cube by just clicking back on our object, the little triangle. And I'm going to I'm going to go over here into the materials editor. And I'm going to double click. And it's going to give me a material or you can go file new material. And then double click your material 
and it's gray here. Now we're going to come into the color and we're going to change it to a brownish. Mm, yeah, we'll change it to a brown. All right. Now we're going to click and drag the brown onto our cube. And then we'll do another quick render. See now it kind of looks like dirt under it and we got the grass. But if you put too many grass count, it's going to look like fur no matter what. So you got to keep it low. I think 100,000 looks good. See, as you can see, it looks like grass all the way. You can make nice effects doing this. Also, if you're, um, there's a possible way to make an animation out of this, but you have to select the polygons you want that the grass grows taller than all of them. It's hard. Um, I'll make that tutorial some other time. All right. And yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys like it. Subscribe if you're not. Comment if you got any questions. And yeah, leave any suggestions for more tutorials in the comment section below. All right. Peace, guys.